Hi everyone. Um, we are going to continue our PSM installation lab. In our previous lab, we have finished our PSM installation. We haven't tested it yet. Today, we're going to start into the testing and starting to do PSM load balancing lab. Before we can test in our PSM, we're going to log into our PVWA to make sure the policy has set up correctly. There's uh, two things we need to change or verify before we can use in PSM to do connection. We're gonna log in as a vault admin 01. As, as you can see, now the connect button has been enabled. That's because I have policy for session manager, the master policy for session manager, we activate it here. If I change it to inactivate, those connect button gonna be grayed out. So that's the one thing you need to make sure before you can do PSM connection. This is first one. There's another one you need to enable. Let me change the policy back. There's another option here. We can see in the PSM management UI. Connect PSM with RDP ActiveX. You need to apply to change it to always. Now, if you go back to account view, then it's grayed out. But if we change this option to never, that means we're gonna never use HTML gateway. So then we can, uh, put into always, we're gonna put into never. And that means we're always using HTML, we're always using RDM, RTP connection. That's enabled. So look, once you enable those two options, your connect button will not grayed out. So please make sure that. Um, now we're gonna check our load balancing setting before we start to do our load balancing. We're gonna use DNS round robin method to simulate our load balancing settings. We create a DNS record for PSM file. So in our DNS server, which is our DC server, if you look at DNS settings, you're gonna find out uh, there's a two records for PSM farm. They point into our PSM server one, PSM server two. Doesn't matter which one is first, which one is second. They were using round robin method to visit when to, to access those servers. We can test it using a pin. Pin PSM farm. The first pin, they go to 10.0, 23.1. The second pin, let's see, they change it to 22.1. For our PVWA load balancing lab, we're using the same method to do load balancing. So there's two records for PVWA. If you pin PVWA one, they will show you 10.0 to 20.1. It has been hardened, the server, so it won't be able to get the pin. We can do PVWA again. They have changed the DS IP mapping to 10.0 to 21.1. So that's 
our load balancing settings in our lab environment. In your production one, you may use in, you may be can use some specific uh, load balancer like F5 to do this kind of job. But in here, we're going to use in uh, DNS configurations to do these changes. We're going to go back to our PVWA server and starting to do load balancing configuration for our PSM. We are on our comp 01 a which is PVWA server. And we already logged in as well as admin. And we're going to go to administration tab, go to options configuration. And we go to PSM settings. And we're going to configure our PSM. So we can see there are two configured PSM server. One called PSM server. This is our first PSM server. Second one is PSM com 01 d We're gonna right click on PSM server and choose copy. And then select configured PSM service and paste. And we're gonna go to PSM new copy the PSM server, change the ID to match the DNS name we created in our DNS server, psm far And there's a connection details, and there's servers, and we're gonna change the IP address to our PSM farm virtual host name. So right now it's 10.0.22.1, which is our PSM server one, but we're gonna change it to our virtual host name, PSM farm dot cyber arc demo dot local. Apply. So the change has been done. Yes, um, now we need to change our platform. Go to the platform management. We have created four platforms here. And we're gonna change PS form, change platform to use this new created PSM farm. So right now they're using PSM server, which by default settings, but now we're gonna change it to PSM farm, which point to our option settings. We just did a couple of minutes ago and then apply. Second platform. Third platform. Fourth platform. All platform has been changed in our environment. Before we can use our virtual platform, virtual PSM farm, we need to import the certificate. So we have our CA set up before and we export our CA certificate. Now, we did that previously when we do the integration, vault integration with LDAP using SSL to do um, communication. Um, now we need to import this to our PSM server. So first thing we go to PSM server one, which is comp 01C, this is number C. We're gonna log in as domain admin. This is a local administrator user. Gonna using 
domain admin user to do this job. Open the server manager. The service is going to load up on your left panel. You should be able to see your remote desktop services. Here you are. Servers. Go to the overview from remote desktop service. Go to the overview. You will see a deployment servers. Is it select one of server and then select tasks? Actually, it's in a deployment overview in the task. You're going to edit deployment properties. There's a certificate. There's a couple existing certificates installed. You know, select existing certificate, choose a different certificate. We're going to find out those certificates. Should be in the CyberArk installation files. Okay, it's COM01 RDS certificate. Allow the certificate to be added to the trusted root certificate authority. Authorities certificate store on a destination computers. Just okay. I try to put the password in. Complete it. And we're gonna do the same thing on our second PSM server. From administrator and sign in. As our admin zero two, which is domain admin, and login is it. The server manager should open by itself. You can wait. Remote desktop services comes up. And Okay, choose remote desktop services, choose overview, and edit the deployment properties. There's a certificate option, change, select the existing certificate, and we're gonna go to our C drive and Choose a certificate we downloaded before. Apply. Wait, the certificate being imported to a right location. And okay. That's pretty much everything for our load balancing settings. Now, we're going to try our PVWA to use its settings. Go back to our PVWA server one. We're going to use in pvwa.cyberarc-demo.local and login with our LDAP account. We're going to use our old admin account one. Back one. So in previous steps, we already changed our platforms to use, changed our platform to use a new PSM farm. So for example, we're gonna use in local admin to log into one of our servers. Connect. Test. And we're going to go to COM01C and the RDP file generated. We are going to log in. 
you have been recorded. So let's basically set up PSM farm load balancing setup. 